we need Patricia to send us something on a regular basis. Yeah. Patricia's a hit. We should. Uh, and then we need VJ Roz to come on for an interview and have Patricia, like. I think it'd be fun to uh, have um, Stupid Babies make us a Coffee with Quran episode and we have to answer the questions. I agree. With Coffee with Quran. I just know we need more Patri Stupid Babies love Patricia. Patricia. Thanks. <laughs>
come to And it was at the and beginning. It was. Yeah. And it even kind of kept those vibes. But man, did it smack you in the face multiple times. And it also did a masterful job, I feel like, in weaving the real things that happened, which yes. I, I hate myself for not knowing about. Know. Like the, the earthquake, earthquake that killed almost 20,000 people. I know. I know. Shows and then, you, yeah. shows you how much we just... That was probably a single day headline here in the U.S. and then it just went away. 20,000 people. Yeah. How? Like, there's a massive North uh, Ridge quake that killed what? Maybe a hundred? Uh, it didn't kill a lot. It was it was property damage that was destruction. Yeah. And, and it, it was, was psychological. A, it was big. It was, it was a massive it was a earthquake, earthquake quake. here and a massive story. Yeah. I don't even know how many of the uh, earthquake in San Francisco. I mean, they've had a thousand, but like a couple of big ones, right? It was nothing like what happened. 20,000 would not have been the number, right? No, no, no. And I know a lot of it has to do with like the structures everybody of has. Course. And, 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 you know, of people course. getting crushed and all that kind of awful stuff. Uh, but you know, like not knowing about that. And then um, the um, there was a couple, a few other things, right? Um, the train burning? Train burning, yes. Uh, and, the, and the riots that ensued, which I right. think we've seen in a few films. We have seen that depicted, and obviously we've seen a lot of other stories that depict the tensions that happen between Muslims and Hindus yeah. in different regions. But and... the, the fact that they were able to weave all this into a, a fictional story, yeah. right? Yeah. And But make it seamless. Yes. I hundred, well, like, right when everything happened, it comes up with dates. So I'm like, right. why would they... Right. Something's it's about so to happen. so specific, yeah. So to Indians, obviously, it's like, if September 11th popped up, like exactly 8.30 in the morning popped right. up, right? Yeah. You December 7th, 1941. You're like, okay, Pearl You Harbor. know exactly what's about to happen. Yep. I did not. Yep. And so it kind of smacked me in the face me multiple too. times, man. This, I loved this film. There's one tiny grip I have with it. Uh, tiny. Yeah, in the end, we'll get to it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I've liked parts of the end, and then it's... It's a, just a personal taste thing. All right. Uh, but nothing. I love this film. I think this film is something you could show to an American. One of those films. Should, probably. Show it to an American, and they would like it. Yeah. I, they don't have to see anything else. Yeah. This is not one. This is going to show, like, okay, they have, they have great actors. They have great stories. And they have really well-made films. Really well-made films. Um, and I think you can't could literally about... introduce somebody via this film. Yeah. It's not even too long. It's two hours long. And so it's it's so accessible, kind of like Kahani or these other films that we've we've tried to introduce Americans to. I think this one right or, up there. Like another one that pops into my head is Razi. Yeah, that's another 100%. really accessible. Pink is really bad love. Those yeah. are really accessible. One hundred percent. This one though, in it, first of all, not just the, the the originality of the story and the way that they weave these things together, but um, we can just go on and on about things like I I was so impressed for a movie that really builds itself as a buddy film. Yeah. Um, uh, the direction and cinematography are so spectacular sometimes. There are moments of lighting, like just the moment where Ali rolls the marble. Oh, it's yeah. coming down a beam of sunshine on the floor. Mm -hmm. And then there's a soft light that's highlighting uh, uh, um, Shashant's mm -hmm. eyes that is just enough to let you know that was definitively intentional but not so bright as to draw attention to itself. Yeah. They got a fr it was almost like this movie was like, providentially kissed because there's the moment when he gets up on the train and they've got a freaking rainbow behind them. I mean, there's just so many things about this that work, including and most especially being carried by all three, three. equally strong wow. actors I... that just not one of them that it was just so it was so fun to watch them yes. banter, joke, play around Fight. and then fight and legitimately have pissed off it was like watching a beautiful acting exercise yeah. with three strong solid desk like we've seen quite a few of Shushan's now and obviously we've seen a ton of Raj Kumar right and a little bit of Amit right very little I want to get more into him all of them were amazing and probably especially these I, I go back and forth between this one and the military one of Sushant's. I know. Best performance. I know. This one was so complex as character. Yeah. And I thought he, he played the, the fun friend, the, the, the slacking kid mm -hmm. uh, so well. And then when, like, there was these deep emotional moments mm -hmm. that they didn't skip a beat. Not at all. Like, at all. Like, yeah. It was directed well. It was written well. He, he killed this role. Yeah. I, it was so good. I think as far as comparatively what we've seen, you can't underestimate how hard it is to be a brand new actor mm -hmm. and, and do that well in your, I, I can see why there was so much excitement about this young 
uh, beautiful young man with such beautiful screen presence, such emotional availability, and the three of them working together. I, I, I for me, as much as I love that one, the name is escaping me. The military one that has yeah, a did. menage in it. Yes, yes. yes. Um, which, by the way, so uh, you may know this, but so Raj Kumar started acting because of Minaj. He's he's Manoj Bajpayee is his inspiration. Oh, really? I, I read that about yeah. uh, Raj Kumar Rao. Um, but. Yeah, I, I, for me, this is my favorite thing we've seen of him. It pissed yeah. me off again that, especially the way it ended. Well, like, yeah, it just makes so, you so. Once again, if you haven't seen it, go watch. What it. I thought was going to happen, I could feel it coming, especially when we got the opening point of Raj Kumar going to pick him up from prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which uh, I wasn't exactly sure, but when we got to the tensions, I thought, okay, I have a feeling he kills Ali's dad. And that's what I thought was going to yeah, happen. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Or even worse, maybe he's going to kill Ali. So when he goes and he pulls the gun, I thought, okay, great. Ali's about to die in Shashant's arms. And then I realized, plot twist, didn't see that coming. And that was really the original story in the script. I think that's the best option because number one, it's the least predictable. And number two, it's the most uh, powerful in terms of talking about the insanity of the kind of event that transpired, where it's just bloodthirst and vengeance and revenge. Yeah. This is this is the result of that. What yeah. happens is nobody wins and, and the innocent die. Yeah, Sushant did so, so well in this. It was, you can, yeah, like, for like almost a, a debut, I do believe, right? It's uh, his, yeah, it says introducing. I did, so if he did like smaller stuff before this, I don't know. But um, yeah, he, they, they all did so well. So well. Um, like, <laughs> there was so many moments where um, they were so good together. And the fights, you 100% mm -hmm. believed. And I believe that Sushant, even though he comes across from what we know of him and his other writers, he's a very sweet, sweet guy, right? Yeah. Uh, but he came across as, I believed him, as the slacker kid that all he cared about was... Was and cricket and didn't care about anybody else but himself. Like, it was a whole different side of him that we saw at that very opening sequence when he gets mad and he breaks the guy's headlight and windshield. Mm -hmm. I thought, damn it, if we had seen him and stayed around, he could have played some really intimidating bad guys, man. The mm -hmm. depth and the, the um, what's the word? It's not depth. Intensity. No, not intensity either. It's the scope of his capacity as an actor and what he can play from varying... Mm -hmm. Uh, aspects. There's a particular word, uh, and it's not dynamic. It's not depth. It's the diversity. Diversity. Yeah. He has. I, I don't think he scratched the surface in terms of the diversity, and I think he could have been in the same conversations, and probably was for those who knew him closely and paid attention to his career early on. Would have been in the same conversations as the Vicky Kushals yeah. and the. Uh, Shahid Kapoor's and the Nawazuddin's and because yeah. when I mentioned Shahid some of you might be surprised by that but if you haven't seen Header he doesn't need to do another movie to show you that that guy has the capacity to do pretty much anything even on screen even if he didn't like Kabir Singh he, he was killed great in Kabir Singh, in Kabir Singh. Um, so yeah but any, yeah I totally agree and it's so so sad obviously the way it ends oh. you just get even more sad. I think it's uh, each time because we didn't we didn't see a film of his still after he passed correct, correct right we just got to know the guy. I think we saw a couple of trailers. Yeah. Um, we saw an MS Dhoni trailer, of course. Yeah. You know, which is well, one we still haven't seen yet of his. Uh, but I'd be very interested in watching. Um, but yeah, he uh, every single time it's ended, but even more now, especially with the performance he gave in this, I was just so upset. I know. <laughs> I was like, I, all I could think of while I was watching him toward the end, especially when you, when you see the character in the end, what happens to him, and you, it's like, he's not here. It just reminded me of you want if you, anybody who thinks life is fair is not lived long enough mm. and and just there's a lot of folks that aren't around that you wish were and a lot of people that were you wish weren't yeah to underscore the fairness as it were uh, but the beauty is that he has a legacy even though it's short that should still be watched I'm not comparing him acting wise but in the same way that um, we still talk about James Dean yeah people should still continue to talk 50 years from now. Yeah, he's Shashan. Ledger, yeah. same thing. Yeah, he, he, he's Ledger, he was good. Well, somebody who died at 20 yeah, his years work old. Yeah, his, his work shouldn't be forgotten. Um, and uh, Hopefully he never will be, but yeah, he's so good, but equally as good. I don't, because I can't tell who I, whose performance I like, because they it's, all had such strong moments. In they the were film. equally the Raj Kumar Rao, together. obviously, I think is one of the best actors just around. Around, right now. I think he, he's 
he's so good and he's so versatile yep. in what he can do because he he brings such an innocence just his everything his no has an innocence his normal demeanor is yeah. innocence but yeah. we've seen like in gangs we've seen in other things he can bring the intensity yeah. he can bring the weirdness like in ludo yes he could do he could do comedy he could do drama well and it works in the movie what was the movie we saw where he plays the guy who's the quote unquote the terrorist and we're seeing it yeah. from his vantage yeah, point uh, i didn't like the retelling of the the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the daniel um, pearl story on it started with a note. Yeah, it's the Daniel Pearl story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the beautiful thing about what he can do with those portrayals is that he doesn't judge characters yeah. and gives you, he always, like most uh, great actors, he, he puts himself into the shoes yeah. of the character. He had such great chemistry with uh, Am Amrita Puri. Uh, yes. I thought they had totally they worked so well with each other. Her strength and him being kind of timid. Yeah. Um, I thought their their love scene was actually really nice. I did too. Um, I thought they did that really, really I also well. loved the reveal. I loved the writing and how Shashant's character found out. Mm -hmm. When he just goes to use his phone in the peak, it's, it's a beautiful, the climax of the direction and the writing to bring us this climax that brought pretty much every element of the story to a head, including here they are in the middle of this save this family, there's violence in the streets, people are getting shot and cut. And in the middle of that comes this really personal moment of, you son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. You had sex with my sister behind my back. Yeah. That's just so good. Yeah. But yeah, he had so many great moments, obviously, there at the end. Um, but like when Sushant's character um, stole the money to yeah, pay for the, 40, the house. Thousand. And how mad he got. Yes. But he didn't like, he's such a good actor, so he's not like showing you that not he's so mad. He was... He, he was, was being mad. He was just being, you could tell yes. he was so frustrated with this friend that he, he loves because he, he loves his friend, but he just, he's so pissed off in that moment. Yes. And he, he brought out the rage and he brought out the, the emotion and he did that. So he always does that. He is, I so wish we could get to talk to him one day because I think I he is one him. of the best actors in the world. Agreed. Uh, I think he, he's in the conversation for me with Manoj Nawaz. Absolutely. Uh, Pankaj. Absolutely. He's in that conversation because he's, He's shown it with his diversity um, and obviously his acting talent. Uh, he's, I, I think he's a, a phenomenal actor, but and also Ahmet, who we've seen the least amount of. So good. He's great. I would love to see a lot more of him. Um, Surprised me, especially at the end. Oh yeah. Um, we can talk about that because my, I, I always wish stuff ended on stronger notes, right? And so I thought it would've been much better just pull back from him just shooting so I know you want everybody to die in the end right yeah but and so they went back and they did the whole cricket thing then I wanted it to end after his emotional moment just looking at Amrita mm -hmm. right when he looked at her right and, and he just broke staring down. to her and he just broke down yeah. I said that's an incredible moment for yeah. him right there agree he did great and so I was like just in there and I I just I don't need to know that kid became a cricket player. I don't, <laughs> I get it. I get other people like happy endings. I don't like the, you know, him seeing him come out of the, the, the prison in the beginning and then tying it all together to retelling the story. It's just not my favorite kind of thing. Cause it kind of spoils some stuff. I'm like, okay, something's going to happen to him. Right. I don't want to know that. Right. I just want to, I want the story to come out. Right. Anyway. So that, that's my one big gripe with it. Even though I was still would have been fine with it at the end, if they would have ended on a stronger note, I just, you know, you remember he's remembering Sushant in the end, and I get it. Whatever. Yeah, That's I just, like that, you know, so it doesn't bother me. No, no, whatever. Um, but yeah, I thought that was an incredibly strong moment for him. That entire end sequence, you can, you can. I mean, it's not justified, but you can see why he's so enraged. Of course. Obviously, his parents were just burned. That's the thing I loved about that. Right? Because, yeah, because like I wrote in my my paragraph the fact that it's a, it's it's definitively evil to be doing the things that were taking place in the name of your ideology or what you believe yeah. as an act of vengeance. But the reality is that if any one of us were in that situation, I'd want to kill somebody. I know I would, I, I, I call it flipping a switch. Yeah. I know that if somebody did that to my family in the name of whatever, my initial response, except for the grace of God stopping me would be, Where's the machete? Where's the gun? Where are they hiding? Yeah. And then I would feel like him at the end as well and probably do something dumb and shoot an innocent bystander because yeah. that's just human nature. And I, that's what I loved. And, yeah. and that's why it is. You can't... Like, this is one of those films that if any one of these guys were nominated opposite each other, you'd be mad. You'd be like, you can't give it to anybody. Because yeah. nobody was 
more profoundly connected to their role than the other yeah, three. They were all so good. Yeah. And obviously, whatever Shushan has left, I don't know what he is outside of MS Dhoni. I don't know what else is left of him, so you guys can let me know. Um, obviously, we'll see everything that Rajkumar does. He's yeah, so good. Ongoingly. I want to see more of Amit. Me too. Shout, she was really strong as well. She was the excellent. The two other actors I thought were really strong was the uncle. Yes. Which I think we've seen in a few supporting We have roles. seen him in some supporting roles, he, did, he's he was really excellent. Good. Everybody was believable, which and is the most important criteria. Asif yes. was so good and so believable as well. So I, I commend the casting. That, and I would looked up the casting director, and I, I'm glad. I wanted to give a shout out. Because oh, casting, yeah. casting, casting, you know who casting that is, right? across the board. Yeah, he's one of the biggest casting directors yeah. in India. Mukesh uh, Chabra. He's also the one that directed Sushant's last film. Yes. Um, but so yeah. Mukesh Chabra's, the casting and your associates nailed everybody, including young Ali. He not only was believable as a human being, but he was believable as a good batsman in cricket. Yeah, um, you even learned some stuff about cricket in this, which was, onside, which was, offside. Do you yeah. know about that? No. Um, so I thought it did everything so well. There's really outside that one little gripe, and that's just a personal preference of mine. Oh. Uh, it's I, I can't really find a weak point. In no, this. and the songs and the score, Amit Trivedi, uh, was immaculate, perfect. Like if how if if I had been directing that and been given that score, I would have been just continually grateful to him yeah. to say you you just you nailed every moment i don't know how much they worked collaboratively as far as you know a lot of directors work hand in hand a lot of them just say do it and give it to me and i'll tell you afterwards and again the other thing too whoever made the the choices here and it's always collaborative with direction and cinematography this is one of the best shot buddy films no uh, the cinematographer is uh... it the, the so, yeah, uh, uh, Ane Goswami, who has done a lot. Yes. A lot on the resume, that, and some of which we've seen. Mm -hmm. But for a buddy film, the whole lighting, cinematography combination was, and editing, especially in the climactic sequence. Editor was the pacing. Deepa Behetia. The pacing in the final editing sequences was absolutely perfect. Everything meshed. The acting, the writing, the editing, the score, and the direction and cinematography were all... I really... I, I've said at one point, toward the end of it, watching it, wow. Yeah. Because I was expecting something like Deborah, which would have been absolutely fine and happy. Mm -hmm. But this took it to a whole other level of, I can't think of a film that combines the buddy, except for maybe Ranga Basanti. Mm. That's the only other thing, which is... A powerful message, but with a buddy. That's the only enough. other thing that I would put in the conversation that I've seen... It's going to be tough. ...fits this criteria. Come for our stupid awards. Yeah. Yeah, which... I was thinking about One, that obviously, we've seen almost 100 films this year, right? So I'd have to go back and see yeah. all the supporting actors. The, the dummies and, are going to be hard this year. Um, but, man, they all would deserve a, a nod. Just off the top of my head, but once again, I'd have to go back and rethink every single film we've we've seen. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some serious because they were the so good. This is a beautiful movie. Yeah, I play, I'm hoping you're still not here if you haven't. If you haven't watched yeah, I really it. hope you really um, hope you've seen it if you have stayed this far. But if you <laughs> haven't seen it, I'm sorry you were spoiled. But go watch it. It's worth your time. It is so good. Um, a very, very well-made film. Yep. Anybody around the world could watch this film and enjoy it. Anybody. 100%. And should. Well, we hated it, so sorry. Yep. Sometimes we just hate stuff. It's true. I know. You know what we, we didn't mention, and it probably should be mentioned in closing, is our, I think, what goes without saying for both of us, mm -hmm. I'll speak for both of us, that yeah. our, our favorite thing was how much the presence of Ranveer was yeah. felt. I, I, I think, think it's probably the undercurrent of all of this that inspired them all to be as good as they probably were. Probably, because they wanted to be Ranveer. Probably. It's either that or Vijay Raz. Yeah. Nod to Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> this is what film we should watch next, Templar.